Mary, meet everyone. This is Pushti Shiv Shakti from Goddess Breath, and I'm here to give you your weekly reading. It's been an amazing week in the past. Actually, the weekend has been really beautiful. It's been informative, and it has been internally um, challenging, but it has still been very revelationary, as always. <laughs> well, let's see what this week has in store for us. Monday and Tuesday. the sage you know the sage is this old guy who's very intelligent very well read he's a philosopher he's a teacher he's the kind of guy who you want to go towards when you're learning you want him to be the you know the professor that you go to learn with because he's informative he's intelligent he's funny he's a bit of a magician he knows exactly how to talk his communication skills are really really strong He's the kind of guy who will tell you exactly what he wants to tell you, not what you want to hear. He has a message, and he is going to give it, and he's going to give it right. Now, what Monday and Tuesday are saying is, are you that guy, or is someone else in your life that guy? Are you listening, or are you not listening? Are you sharing? Are you not sharing? Another thing is, you need to be. very careful of not listening and only talking only sharing unsolicited advice what's the point but the idea is you do have something inside you that you want to share and when you want to share it don't worry just go out and share it the right people will listen but don't try and grab hold of someone tell them and you know then have this weird feeling of nobody wants to listen to what i have to say they do you just haven't found the right people to say it to all right so that's monday and tuesday wednesday is it your air it's about education now further education now if you are the sage right you will want to go and learn about more stuff you will want to take your self time and in that self time is this this the study you need to take your time to study on wednesday you need to be aware of everything that's coming to you from every angle because there may be a little too much of an influx of things coming in but that's all right because you need all of this and it's only come to you because you somewhere have asked for it and it's time to you know make hay while the sun shines because there is so much useful information and so much useful knowledge coming your way that you will need a gazillion hands to grab at it it may feel like that much but there's so much more that's coming remember one thing the way you think depends on the experiences that you have and the experiences that you have will only come through the kind of perspective you share with the world your perspective is extremely personal to you but that also can transform and that too can be enriched by a little more study because we have a common collective mind from the time the earth began you know we we have that we have that on us and it's now time to use that common collective and go back to the very first time that we ever thought can you imagine how rich we are so wednesday is giving us the opportunity to actually do that right hmm the mind and now emotions <laughs> thursday and friday This is a very interesting card because you know the look at this the dragon and the sword right they both denote the mind and it's a picture on a card called emotions think about that how does that even make sense actually it does make sense because emotions and the mind the thought are so beautifully connected that we are we're even getting confused at times aren't we we're getting confused why am i thinking like this or am i feeling like this or am i feeling like this because i'm thinking or am i thinking because i'm feeling we all go through that haven't we we don't know if we're feeling because we're thinking or we're thinking because we're feeling the idea here is to actually figure out how we're feeling first right yes our thoughts are going to matter and color up feelings at times but it is important to figure out how we are feeling and you know this is not just about getting our emotions right and feeling love and feeling happy no this is about realizing that 
love and hate you know happiness and unhappiness these are all just two sides of the same coin it's the same feeling the positive and the negative of the same feeling so instead of judging how you're feeling or judging how someone else is feeling just take a moment and say ah so they're vibrating the that side of the spectrum today you know so it's okay because they can go there as well if you can help them go to the other side that's a better side then do that otherwise just let them be and for yourself stop judging yourself i'm not feeling good i'm feeling like this oh my god i should not be feeling this i should not be feeling that no you feel because you can you're blessed and that's okay that's absolutely okay so allow yourself to feel value the feeling of actually being able to feel it's a blessing because feelings are the only things that really really teach us in the minute we can activate our emotional center and set our needs out in the world they start manifesting and really fast and to sum it all up the oracle card family this actually does beautifully tie into the entire reading because family is one unit in our life that can teach us and that can teach us everything we need to learn you know and and this unit is not escapable you can't escape it it's a unit that comes for every person every single person how you use it is up to you it says every family member has a trait that they don't like about you and you have a trait that you don't like about every family member but that is exactly what you are going to learn from because you don't like it you're going to learn from it and you only don't like it because you have a part of it inside you and you want to negate it you don't want to see it you want to become an ostrich bury your head in the sand and say it's not there it is not there can't do that can we we have to learn we have to understand and we have to deal with everything that's coming our way and our family is the perfect opportunity in a way it's a safe haven we always feel like the other person's family is so good it's so nice look at this and look at my family oh my god no every family is going through some shit in some way at some level and some are good at hiding it some just cannot hide it but the point is we're all going through our ups and downs with family our agreements and our disagreements and our loves and our hates and our you know our separations and our togetherness all of us are doing it how are we dealing with it how is it how is it affecting us are we are we learning to grow from that are we learning the one lesson that the family is trying to teach us unconditional love and again if our mind and our knowledge doesn't help us go there our emotions can guide us to it the family is the most important unit for learning and that is why it's one family after another family after another family and it does not only have to be your birth family or your birth siblings it can be a lot lot more a lot lot more i hope you guys have had an insightful reading you know an insightful few aha moments from this reading i would really like to hear from you guys how have the readings been going for you and how have you been feeling and what has the energy of this month done for all of you all till now tell me about it i am waiting to hear from you and i love you guys so much i will see you on the weekend bye bye